let us see what all aspects we should consider what all thing we should consider while buying a home so first aspect i would say one should definitely define is there a need is there a need to buy a home if somebody is having a 2 bhk home own home he might not need a home a second home but in current scenario after covid 2 bhk is not also enough what is happening everybody is needing uh, more space as as two people are working from home they need their separate private space to work then there is a larger home need which has arisen since 2020 that also affected that has also not uh, decreased the growth of home sales not not more than 10% so last ek saal mein 10% se zyada degrow nahi hua hai there has been markets mumbai pune usme sales has impacted more and it has uh, achieved more sales in mumbai and pune or you can say maharashtra because of some stamp duty relaxation by the government so one need to decide what is my need if somebody is somebody millennial has moved to a metro city and he is not having any house and he has a plan of uh, staying there in, the, in that metro city for life long or maybe for 20 30 years then there is definitely a uh, need for him if there is a need what kind of need because if somebody is at 25 year of age he may look for two kind of home one is starter home which is very affordable in terms of uh, money in terms of uh, area also it is very smaller in dream dream homes you will get a larger area you will get, you have to invest lot of things but every dream or requirement of you can be fulfilled so currently starter homes uh, demand is there and dream home demand is not that much because the people who are earning uh, more than 2 crore or more than 1 crore are very less but starter home can start with the people who is earning 5 lakh they, they also can buy the starter homes there are affordable housing segments which is going very well as on date because everybody needs the house and there are many many benefits which will, which we will cover in next slide once you decide i have a need i should define my budget how to define budget first you have to see your what is my take home salary or what is my take home income through my self employed business or through my any other source i need to deduct my all uh, household activity expenses then i need to deduct my any other existing liability like somebody is having a car loan or personal loan or maybe another like any other liability then after whatever is left is there any other liability which may arise in future then whatever balance amount we need to decide on that on that ki how much i can put this as a emi the budget definition by emi backward calculation towards the loan value as well as what can what amount of equity one can infuse that will derive your budget secondly one should definitely see what is my duration if somebody has moved to mumbai and he is saying ki i will be moving after 3 years to bangalore as my as my company policy says you have to be transferred or somebody saying after 5 year i have a plan to go back to my home theek hai then they should not think about buying a house because since 2013 or 14 prices of home have been stable yes it has uh, it has gone it has seen a upward trend in few locations uh, due to some location strategic in, in advantages but in normal prices have not improved since last 5 6 years so if your purpose of house to stay there for longer period like 20 years or more than 10 years you should definitely think about house then location in nowadays proximity to office earlier that was a scenario that i should see my house near my office only or within the range where i can suitably travel it should not be like 2 ghanta mere ko travel karna pad raha hai it should be well within the scenario of like one hour travel then uh, that proximity is no more now due to covid we don't know how much it will come back or not nobody is aware about it so location is having that much advantage after covid location is the only factor which will make your asset or make your home liquidable at any point of time the future of location also derives the value of the flat or also derives the demand in that particular micro market if you see if there is a location where there is a lot of empl- employment is there lot of it activities are going on lot of industries industries are going on there there will be demand so there are particular locations in every city where demand of house is always there it depends on their industrial or micro market situations so location has to be chosen wisely with uh, taking taking consideration about the connectivity similarly social economical infrastructure 
if somebody is saying ki uh, i am staying there and i am having a school 10 km away theek hai so there is a social economic develop, development lacking over there so we need to see schools malls cinema halls markets or every day to day activity need should be in a in an around of my location where i am choosing to buy a home so that activity also help us to remain at the uh, invested amount or to remain at the beneficial amount in terms of investment similarly neighborhood yes that's a aspect one should as much as possible should invest time in neighborhood if somebody is trying to move from one location to another currently somebody is comfortable at a location if he is moving to c or d location he should inspect the neighborhood in any manner there might be few things which may may be negative for him there might be few things which are positive positives may be there is a good temples which they like there is a good community which is uh, which is they feel ki it is good for us there are people whose lifestyle are matching with them negative may be the location is very noisy you don't like you are not liking the uh, people over there the community is there you don't match with them that that research should be done at ground level as a one of the primary research one should go there and watch things and see about the things how they are living over there then environment or open space you must have seen projects uh, there are like 40% uh, environment open space is there you must have seen some ads like that in current scenario in current scenario this is also an important factor as you see the density of people living on a particular square feet is increasing earlier on to 20000 square meter plot almost 100000 people were living now at 20000 square meter plot that plot there is a huge buildings there there are approximately 500 apartments then number of people i think so now audible na yeah yeah i you going 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 on, going on mute uh, like yeah one call is coming so i had to cut that sorry so uh, environment is space is uh, how it is very much important to have a good health as natural resources are limited if you see natural resources if you see natural resources on a particular location are limited i think there is some disruption am i audible so go on oh, i'll okay let me go ahead so okay. environment or open space is very much important in terms of uh, having a good health or uh, a project which is designed as per the requirement of future because uh, there are lot many things which is coming uh, which is harming due to urbanization so there are projects which is providing good environment or green space so we should look on these these aspects also yes everybody has having their own layout space customization the requirement of their how many bedroom i want i need a sunlight in my bedroom i need a ventilation proper ventilated home all these customizations are there in everybody's mind so everybody has to think and prepare a to do list or a wish list i need all these items uh, along with these things in my flat because that's very important when you go to buy a flat na theek hai these marketing activities and all they will take your mind away and you will forget ki what i wanted to buy and what i have got so you need to write something these all uh, information and these all things i need in my flat since all uh, all of us are dadis brahmins and i believe ki okay, most of them be living in the vastu compliant flat and all so vast to is also differing from location to location south has a different vastu west has a different vastu when you go for a flat the vastu uh, is different when you uh, preparing a row house the vastu uh, when preparing a row house the vastu is very different okay so one should definitely uh, visit a vastu consultant prior to buy a home it it plays very role maybe mythology perspective maybe astrology perspective it plays a very much role in home and your future future of your life also similarly one need to analyze and do some primary research in terms of demand one need to see uh, if the flat or the project which has been launched 
has got a good amount of sales okay and he has got to know from the sales then you will get some positive feeling if there are people suppose 300 flat project is launched 200 flat have been booked then 200 flat have been booked then we need to see that these are the positives there are 200 people who are positive about the project there would be something there is a huge supply you need to see in and around in a particular location there are 7 to 8 projects there is a huge supply and you are saying ki that is not uh, uh, you need you will see ki the huge supply is there then price movement will not be that that much uh, higher so supply and demand analysis should be done properly one need to think how or when i win i need a position okay so when you see ki if i am looking at a position uh, if i am currently owning a house okay i may look ki bhai i am not paying emi right suppose one one body is staying in one two bhk flat and he is staying in particularly two bhk flat and he is not paying any emi his home is an asset and which is not required then if somebody is not paying emi then he may look for uh, uh, under construction project also as there is no emi burden as on it if somebody is paying staying on rent and he want to purchase a home then if if they purchase a home on under construction then there are two burdens one is emi burden another is the rent burden okay that needs to be taken care how and uh, what you want if completed home is there you your construction risk is mitigated and you may need to pay little bit higher price as compared to the market depending on the negotiation similarly if you are purchasing a under construction project then you may need to pay little bit lesser price but it comes with a construction risk also. then to mitigate that construction risk one need, one need to see which builder is this how has been the delivery of that particular builder how has been the particular delivery of that builder how is the feedback from the existing buyers of that builder you need to see also ki what was the quality of construction of that particular existing developed building and accordingly you will decide ki is the builder is credible when you are going for under construction project also when you see ki it is a ready project you should also consult existing developed building home owners is there any default or any defect in their uh, building which has been developed that kind of feedback one should take one should also do their secondary research on the google itself you will get lot of feedback on google there are lot of blogs are there you can get it and once you prepare all your to do list wish list and uh, accordingly uh, have visited few sites few projects then you need to compare suppose my to do list or wish list is about 15 items and i am getting out of that 12 or 13 and what all item and what weightage i have given to these particular items then what all things i i can compromise and what things are important for me to have a house that should be compared with all these projects and then accordingly it has to be decided yes everybody has their own wish list everybody has their own requirement it may differ person to person it may differ location to location okay so there are various uh, permutation combination can happen on a particular wish list by any person so there are lot of things which can be covered uh, when you go for a house hunting then if i see ki when you decide ki bhaiya these all things are there uh, my wish list is getting completed and i am okay with all these things i can compromise two, two parameters and i can uh, i'm okay with the 13 parameter fulfilling then we should look after financial aspect or financial aspects because this is one of the costliest expense one body is doing in their entire life if you are buying a flat in top eight cities that is mumbai bangalore kolkata pune ncr bangalore chennai so i believe ki every house is costing more than 50 lakhs if you are going even going more upward i believe that is the one of the costliest expense so we will cover next in next slide the financial aspects what all things we should consider prior to buying in so i would i would request you uh, sorry to interrupt you okay. before going to the next slide i would request you to keep the mic a little bit closer sure. to you uh, actually we are picking some additional sound while you are speaking so that is the yeah. reason can no you problem. just yeah yeah it will go thank you so finance am i audible okay. properly now okay. yeah yeah so financial aspects uh, is very much critical 
as nobody is having entire amount handy to pay the to buy the home so one need to see how has been the price fluctuations is there any home equity or building equity has been done in that particular location so since 2014 or 13 prices have not moved that much but prior to that there have been a good uh, equity building equity development in a particular asset on many families many families have earned lot of amount in real estate by building or purchasing flat at early stages but that was there up till up till to up till 2013 and 14 i believe that will uh, that will be achieved in longer longer run from today also but not in short run that equity building exercise on should see how has been the historically price movement in that particular location then similarly uh, once one need to assess their own liabilities ki what is my household expense and what is going to be and what is my existing liability in terms of uh, personal loan in terms of car loan etc that's why where they need to assess how much i am paying on that accordingly one must also see what are my future liabilities which is going to arise maybe some marriages maybe some other activity at family that also need to be taken care but prior to decision deciding the budget and uh, financial aspect similarly then how is the payment plan if somebody is buying a under construction home at 1 crore so there are various payment plans which are available like one is construction link, construction linked plan one as and when construction happens you need to pay as per your required budget similarly there are subvention schemes maybe by the builder maybe by the uh, cooperation with the financial institutions so one builder is giving uh, subvention scheme that may be like 5 and 95 at the time of possession so 5% of the 1 crore you need to pay 5 lakh today and once the building completes then 95% you can pay at that point of time so that's basically mitigating that construction risk also you have just paid 5% and you are not paying any kind of interest you have just paid 5% there is no home loan no interest everything but yes in such schemes the price of the flat if you go for construction link plan it will be like 1 crore when you go for the Uh, subvention scheme the price of the flat may increase that one one crore five lakh or one crore ten lakh they factor some little bit interest so it depends on your negotiation power also yeah, how you deal with them there is a third payment plan of uh, builder subvention in uh, cooperation with the financial institution and banks wherein you will get uh, you have to pay wherein you need to pay five percent or ten percent whatever is the scheme then after there will be a disbursement from the bank side or financial institution side on your profile they will derive your loan amount on your profile then accordingly they will disperse the builder as per the construction link plan and uh, accordingly you will be able to pay the final installment or final uh, emi starting after the possession during the meantime these installments being paid by the uh, builder itself and uh, there might be a reimbursement kind of scenario you pay it and builder reimburses to you so debt to equity uh, how much equity one can infuse so one should definitely look upon their pf uh, funds their savings their fds their mutual fund returns or any other uh, equity inflows like they have sold some land or plot so there is a inflow from their side or they have sold existing flat and going to purchase a new flat so this can be your equity and that that is the balance portion out of the total cost would be the debt so there are lot of uh, housing finance companies banks financial institutions lot of lenders are available for home finance so that's not a challenge in current market and how much should be the emi if somebody is buying a home how much should be the emi if somebody's income is 1 lakh 50000 take home every month and he has a household expense expense of 40000 and 10000 of uh, car loan emi the balance amount is available free free cash flow at a personal level is 1 lakh rupees so one should think 45% 45 to 50% of the take home salary as a emi that is 70 to 80000 out of 150 because if you go beyond that there might be some uh, uncertainty in future you may default on uh, uh, emi and there might be some other other required uh, financial liabilities where you need, you may need to con- compromise if the salary is sticked at 1.1.5 1. lakhs so one need to also see what kind of tenure i should take like 10 year loan 20 year loan because as long as i believe 
30 year loan is available in the market up to 30 year loan can be taken on depending on your existing age uh, loan is available in the market so there are two examples to decide the tenure it's same, similar the 1.5 lakh ka income is there for one person and they have bought a flat of 30 lakhs okay the emi of that 30 lakh flat is about 25000 okay then he may choose for shorter tenure shorter the tenure lower the interest cost but higher the emi outflow similarly if somebody is bought a flat of 90 lakhs and uh, took a loan of 80 lakhs and uh, there is emi of 75000 then he should take longer tenure longer the tenure higher the interest cost and lower the uh, emi okay so what will happen ki uh, your cost of uh, cost of uh, flat will increase by way of interest cost as you are going to pay all these uh, all these emi for a longer period maybe 20 years or more than that whatever you choose mortgage interest rate yes the interest rate defined because when you choose the emi in his initial year the interest component of the emi is higher as your loan amount is higher and you need to pay interest on them as much as you pay with the emi as a principal your interest get reduced and currently the prevailing rate in the market is about uh, as good as uh, 6.7% 6.7% is the prevailing rate in local language we say it is less than 60 paisa per month and uh, similarly one should definitely as i told you in earlier slide ki what is the duration if somebody is uh, having a duration of 5 year then he should do an uh, analysis if i stay at rent for 5 years what would be my outflow similarly the similar flat i purchased what could be my outflow there are cases there are lot of cases where rental is uh, uh, preferred as it is uh, the yield of rental is very low so one must also analyze the rental versus ownership yes somebody is going for longer tenure the ownership is best one body is uh, taking a flat for 3 4 years or 10 years or less than 10 years then he may do analysis of rental versus ownership what would be my outflow as a rent as and what would be the outflow as a emi similarly one should also prepare their own cash flow what would be my in, what is my current income and the growth rate they presume ki in my company i would be able to achieve a 5% growth or 10% growth and similarly what would be my outflows in terms of existing liability and future liability so there might be a scenario ki aaj aap 10 lakh ka 10000 ka installment bhar rahe ho car loan ka car loan is going to end after 2 years Okay, then you may go up to uh, income to EMI ratio. You can stretch like fifty percent, fifty five percent, because you know that the car loan will be paid after one or two year. So there is a stretch is only there for one or two year. And similarly, you have a feeling that ki my income would be increased by ten percent every year. I am due for the promotion. I can get another income, uh, another increment over there. Similarly, so, dekhna padega kitna admi ka khud ka expense hai. And what is the liability? क्या liability आगे आ रहा है? And जैसे मेरा what liability is getting? कौन सी liability मेरी खत्म हो रही है? उस पे भी ध्यान देना चाहिए. So overall cost factor. तो when you buy a home, there are other cost also. जैसे insurance लेना पड़ता है. Property taxes are there. There are maintenance charges are there. तो that's why we we said कि income to EMI ratio थोड़ा कम रखना चाहिए. क्योंकि ये जब आप ओन करते हो फ्लैट को तो दीज एक्सपेंस आर आल्सो रिक्वायर्ड टू बी पेड टू बी एट द गुड प्लेस देर आर गुड मेंटेनेंस कॉस्ट इन मुंबई देर आर मेंटेनेंस कॉस्ट एज गुड एट टेन टू फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड पर मंथ डिपेंडिंग ये डिपेंड करता है कि आपके कौन से तरह के आप फ्लैट में रह रहे हो कौन सा कॉम्प्लेक्स है वट काइंड ऑफ एम्यूनिटीज आर देर वट काइंड ऑफ मेंटेनेंस कॉस्ट आर देर तो दैट कॉस्ट शुड ऑल्सो बी टेकन केयर प्रॉपरली तो दीज आर द फाइनेंशियल एस्पेक्ट So now we will cover the things when uh, shall we buy a flat today or is it worthy to buy flat today or a home today that we need to identify what is the current scenario. So here I would personally say this if somebody is going to buy a flat for their own investment, if somebody is going to buy a flat for own own investment, I believe today is not the market for investors. They have lost. A lot of money in last four five years. I'll tell you a logic over there. If somebody has bought a flat at one crore, okay, at one crore, uh, 
he has invested full money from his pocket there is no loan in 1 crore there would be some cost maintenance cost and the rent of that particular 1 crore uh, flat is uh, 40000 per month so 480000 like is the rent 4 lakh 80000 rupaye ka rent aaya samne uske maintenance cost hoga 5000 rupaye mahine ka or more than that so balance amount is 4 lakh 20000 or there might be any repair which could be required you can consider 10 to 20000 ka repair so ultimate rent aapke khate mein jo aaya 4 lakh rupaya after all cost net rent is 4 lakh rupees then after investing 1 crore rupees 4 lakh is the rent that means 4% of yield that is quite similar to your saving account uh, uh, interest very well like 3% is saving account interest if you compare with the fd then it is lower than fd itself fd se bhi kam aata hai so for investment yes it is not the market but yes prices are softer i'll give you an another uh, scenario 2013 se sabka salary badh raha hai 5 5 10 10 taka se theek hai but prices to nahi badha hai so your potential for buying a home which has increased from last 5 to 7 years but prices are at similar pace so builder margin have reduced as cement prices structure prices and any other raw material prices have also also gone up but prices of flat has not increased so softer property prices are there and in covid times there are lot of negotiations which are happening but yes good good projects uh in negotiation you will able to get lesser negotiation but uh, there are projects or markets where you will get good good amount of negotiation available in the market lowest interest rate 6.7 interest rate is i believe one of the lowest two year back it was about 9% 8.7 or 9% so it has reduced by 2% in last one and a half year or two year and rbi is still keeping the repo rate for at 4% so that is going to be uh, there for quite similar time 5 6 mahina tak aur bhi this is my assumption it could be there similarly government ke focus mein hai housing urbanization is one of the development as it is in predominantly in the government agenda also housing for all there are various schemes under pradhan mantri awas yojana has been initiated since 2015 and there are various scheme about subsidy also this is one of the scheme which is not only for the below poverty line it is the scheme which is available for tax payer also aaj tak humne aisa nahi suna hai ki koi tax payer ke liye government subsidy de raha hai tax wale se tax hi leta hai government that we have heard theek hai now what is happening tax payer also getting subsidies if they are fulfilling under uh, the particular criteria of pmi one similarly earlier the homes uh, which were built like 3 bhk 4 bhk time ghar bante the aur bade bante the so now prices have increased so home sizes have reduced so affordability is still there there might be uh, size of the home may be reduced but affordability is there because without affordability nobody will going to purchase tax exemption as per old regime there are lot of tax exemption anirudh ji will explain that flexible payment plan builders are giving that subvention schemes or uh, any other plans uh, builder subvention scheme there are many sub, uh, flexible plans and some builders are offering rent to you after purchase till the time of possession and one important factor there are real estate uh, regulation act which came in force by 2016 so this act has brought the transparency in the system uh, in a particular way if you say ki fully transparent is there if there is a project is under construction under construction project mein full transparency is available when you go to rera site you will get everything about the project you can see the legal aspect of the project what is the title of the project land how they have purchased the land you may also see what is the configuration of that particular project when the builder will deliver that project that uh, date will also be available on the rera so you might face uh, builder aapko bol raha hai ki i will give possession by 2023 theek hai when you go to going for a purchase but when you see rera it is written ki bhaiya 2025 mein milne wala so you should consider rera one because if they don't complete as per the rera deadline there would be some penal charges to them theek hai and there have been lot of uh, activities in rera front also and home buyer have been favored by the government by their rera law also good decision have been taken under rera by the home buyers and that's why if you are going for end use your purpose of buying home is more than 10 year or 15 year you should buy the home because building equity 
has been the history may not be from 5 to 7 years you must have heard earlier ki itna main rent deta to mera khud ka ghar ho jata theek hai now that scenario from last 5 years, 7 years is not uh, available but that will be available as urbanization requirement has improved and families are becoming nuclear and population of india is growing and uh, since urbanization mein ye sab development hota hi rahega so for long term you should buy property you should think about buy property and use of the property in covid times have been the importance of property has definitely increased after the pandemic and the requirement space of the property is also increased uh, during the pandemic so i believe in long run for end use one should buy property or start hunting the property with the proper research and primary and secondary research available uh, to them over to you thank you about uh, this is thank you the- uh, yeah thank you thank you anman ji that was a very detailed very well explained session i really welcome your thoughts and uh, this was a very very uh, detailed like uh, like everyone can relate to it and everyone will be used uh, using this particular information in order to go ahead uh, like while after your session i think many of us will be thinking of uh, like we are we are very clear that from where to start uh, what all formalities are there what all aspects we need to consider before actually purchasing uh, a house of our own dream so uh, as um, i'll i'll give you some breather now because it's it's a it's been long before uh, we ask any questions because trust me there will be too many so before asking you the questions and i would request the audience to please type in your questions in the chat i'll be taking it up uh, to hanuman ji so uh, uh, le- so as we are comfortable with where to start now uh, in our mind everyone's mind as as we are uh, we are we are a lot more concerned about how much tax benefit we are going to get from the government like how much exemption we are getting or how much uh, relief we'll be getting on the taxation front so let me introduce to you our next panelist mr anirudh dadich who will be taking us through the taxation aspect for our today's topic over to you mr anirudh ji uh, so anirudh ji is a chartered accountant having a vast 10 years uh, experience as a practicing chartered accountant uh, he is handling uh, very big clients and he is having so valuable knowledge for you all on the taxation front so over to you aha uh, over to you uh, over to you anirudh ji let's go ahead anirudh ji okay i think uh, there is a technical issue with anirudh ji so uh, so hanuman ji will be uh, using you there uh, there are some very interesting questions which have come across on the chat so are you okay with uh, having the questions right now yeah sure sure so yeah. meanwhile when uh, while anirudh ji fix uh, his uh, the comms let's let's go ahead with it so uh, so a basic questions which we have got is uh, uh, like what should be life of a property how to plan in buying for redeployment perspective so that's a interesting question which we have got from our uh, uh, audience so what is your take on uh, the planning uh, in order to buy that house from the redeployment perspective yes there are lot of technology which has come up uh, in earlier ways uh, there was only rcc structure in uh, metros we used to see so there are many technologies like my one technology has come up So that has certainly increased the life of the property up to 50 to 60 years. There is a life of the property, and uh, if you see the life of the property is there for 50 to 60 years. If you have bought a fresh property, not a uh, resale property, then redevelopment re- redeployment can happen after 15, 16 years because your investment value should also get that amount. If you have invested one crore as a flat and you have paid interest of about 30 lakhs. so you should get more than 1.3 crore so redeployment uh, currently in that particular scenario 5 to 7 year i believe ki redeployment mein aapko utna paisa wapas nahi mil payega so whatever you invest to avoid whatever interest you are paying or uh, you don't need to pay much of the interest if possible keep paying your home loan take your home loan whatever best possible like 80% is available but keep paying the principal to avoid lesser number of interest and similarly uh, you have to wait for some time if you are going for the end use then it's a perfect market and when you are going for the investment purpose then you should have to wait like more than 10 years as price movement is required or you may think about one more thing which can give you some 
price appreciation you may need to see the future potential of that particular location if that location is particularly located near by a it hub or industrial location where people are coming so that demand is uh, how demand is created in real estate maine aaj ek fred 10000 mein khareeda hai then second second day uska price koi 12000 ya 13000 mein ho gaya hai theek hai it is with the example ek example aaya ki iska 10000 mein price set ho gaya hai that price is set over there but that was the history theek hai so you need to see the potential now there has been places where one body has purchased at 10000 now he has to sell at 9500 also he has lost the interest also for that particular period so longer run it is safer to buy for the investment also but longer run would be more than 15 years so that you want to you need to keep in mind yeah so uh, next question uh, next question would be um, so uh, from the audience is like house properties uh, the rates are particularly hyped in india so because the uh, the the custom the indian mentality is like buy your own house so uh, what's your take on that because i uh, the 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 rates are been increased the rates are been too high so but, but the appreciation rate is not too much as you also mentioned in your session that uh, the rates are not that too high so what what's your take on that whether it's a asset or a liability whenever somebody is buying a house so asset in a layman term asset is what uh, if if something is coming into your pocket is considered as a asset if something is going out from your pocket is considered as a liability in a very very simple and layman term so in your opinion what it should be what a house property should be on day 1 to day 6 uh, like uh, year 16 like till the time person will be paying the emi so what's your take on that i'll tell you what happens when you buy a property the debt component under the debt to equity mix is very high is as as good as 80 percent, ठीक है? So 80 percent amount have been paid by the financial lender, not by the individual. So as as when as you are paying the EMI, जैसे जैसे EMI भर रहे हो आप अपने बोन बोन से घड़ा भर के, you are trying to make your asset after 15 years or 20 years. So till the time you don't pay your asset, pay your EMI or you don't pay repay your loan, it is your liability, ठीक है? Once you get your repayment done your loan loan closure done then it's your asset but asset with a good investment value or not a good investment value that has to be derived at the time of uh, loan closure or at the time of when you have paid all the installments here you have known about your cost along with interest 1 crore mein kisi ne liya tha after 15 years he has paid 25 lakh ka interest the total flat value is 1.25 you have to also apply npv over there then you decide at that point of time what could be my what is the current market rate in that particular region uh, and how much i am getting of that particular flat so similarly at that point of time you need to also see what could be my investment value yes it will turn into uh, asset after repayment of the loan till the time you don't pay the loan and the uh, loan is lying in your book the property is with uh, financial institution it is in liability thank you uh, so last question before we we'll move ahead to uh, uh, we before we move ahead to anirudh ji how to plan the loan tenure and the down payment like like a salaried employee how to plan the loan tenure and a uh, down payment what's your take on that i'll tell you first uh, if somebody is there as a salary holder and first they need to see how much my free cash flow per month see i'll tell you uh, an example one body is having a income of 2 lakh having a good lifestyle and uh, is having a household expense of 60 60000 and 40000 and other other liabilities there so free cash flow to him is 1 lakh theek hai on that free cash flow they first need to do their re calculation or reverse calculation towards debt how much debt i can avail which is uh, which can be availed on the free cash flow available to him and free cash flow should be like after 1 lakh you should also take some contingency fund which may require then suppose 80000 installment is available at your level then you need to do online google mein jaoge ek emi calculator aata hai ki agar main abhi how much i am eligible for a loan at my particular age they will ask your age they will ask the current market and they will take your permutation combination laga le you need to find ki bhai ye itna emi i am able to pay 80000 ka emi uh, 20 year ke loan pe mereko itna loan ban jata hai there are calculators online you may find 
तो अकॉर्डिंगली यू विड डिसाइड कि मेरे को 80 लाख का लोन मिले देन यू नीड टू सर्च अबाउट योर इक्विटी एंड अबाउट योर डाउन पेमेंट सो हाउ टू सर्च अबाउट इक्विटी वन थिंग इज अवेलेबल वेन यू आर बाइंग फॉर फर्स्ट टाइम देर इज ए पी एफ अवेलेबल आई बिलीव पी एफ में होम घर खरीदने के लिए दे आर अलाउड टू विड्रो तो दैट पी एफ हाउ मच यू कैन विड्रो देर इज सर्टन परसेंटेज यू कैन विड्रो दैट मच मनी यू नीड टू सी दैट यू कैन यूज एज ए डाउन पेमेंट Similarly, any other plot sale you have done, or any other sale, or any other free cash flow available to you as a pity, that depending on person to person, suppose somebody has a sold a flat in their hometown or sold a plot in hometown, they have got ten lakh rupees. So that will also part form part of the equity. Similarly, any other resource of inflow in terms of saving account, mutual fund ka investment, a kahi se bhi aara hai, maybe share market, that will form of your equity. So now, depending down payment, how to plan the down payment? Down payment depends on the kind of flat you are purchasing and kind of scheme you are applying to your flat. If somebody is purchasing a flat which is completed, then down payment what builder would ask for like five to ten percent down payment they would ask that you should do uh, by your own investments or equity which is available. There are other options also which people try. वेर दे आर कॉन्फिडेंट की तीन चार साल बाद मेरा सैलरी तो अच्छा हो जाएगा दस बीस परसेंट हाइक हो जाएगा तो वट एवर दैट कंटिजेंसी फंड इज अवेलेबल टेन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड दे बाई ए पर्सनल लोन ऑन दैट ऑन दैट पर्सनल लोन दे गेट लाइक दस लाख का इक्विटी एज ए पर्सनल लोन आ गया तो दे इन्वेस्ट देर एज ए डाउन पेमेंट देन आफ्टर दे गो फॉर द होम लोन एन होम लोन यू नीड टू सी इट शुड बी कम्पिटेटिव एंड टेन योर आई टेल यू टेन योर अगर आप अफोर्डेबल हाउसिंग में जा रहे हो एंड यू हैव ए ह्यूज free cash flow i would suggest take shorter tenure to avoid cost escalations when you going for a longer tenure then definitely your cost is getting increased then you need to be sure ki after every year after 3 4 year whatever surplus i would be having i should be paying that for the home loan to reduce my cost of funds to reduce my interest cost so tenure totally depending on the free cash flow how much tenure you want on the basis of uh, uh, amount of house shorter tenure would definitely help you but shorter tenure is quite difficult as the desire of home is uh, high the affordable housing like uh, kisi ka 2 lakh ka pagar hoga to wo ye nahi sochega ki main 30 lakh 40 lakh ka flat khareedun they would definitely think 1.52 crore ka flat khareedun so most of the cases long long tenure people opt but try to repay prepay as much as possible whenever available during the tenure of time thank you thank you anman ji